Hello everyone. Last couple of weeks we have seen how to do a basic block for front, back and sleeve for kids wear along with its instructions. We have also understood what is the need and importance of pattern making in the textile and apparel industry. So this week we are going to take our knowledge further by making a simple frock draft which is going to be used or created using the basic block that we have made in the first place. So let's get started. Here I have the basic block which I have cut into shape. Now on this I have done the basic labeling as we have discussed in the previous classes. So this is my center front line which is supposed to be FOC. My neck, shoulder, armhole, side seam and waistline along with the dart marked. This is my straight grain front piece. I have just traced it out on another piece of paper and I have cut it out in shape. Now what I am going to do is this is my work area and on the new sheet of paper I am going to trace the outlines of this block. So here I am placing it and with the help of a pencil you can directly place it and you can trace the outlines. Now I have already done it for you and this is what it looks like after tracing the outlines. Now I have used a colored sketch pen so that it is going to be more clearly visible for you. Here if you notice the dart is missing as you can see it here in the original block. Now the reason why I haven't traced the dart is that because the frock is a loose garment and hence we do not require the dart in it. Before we start with the draft, we have already traced it. Let us just take a look at the pattern that we are creating. This is a basic A-line frock with a simple round neck, simple armholes, sleeveless garment with an A-line shaping. It comes out in the form of the letter A, which is why we call it as an A-line shape. And it ends just below the thighs. Your knee length is here, so it is ending well above the knee. So we are going to create a draft or an adaptation of this garment. Now, having seen the pattern, the basic changes that we need to create in comparison to this pattern is the length of the block because this basic block is only up to the waist length whereas this garment is a little longer up till the lower thigh end. Also, we have to change the fit of the garment. So to begin with, the first change is increasing the length of the garment. So I will start along the center front line and I will increase the length. Now the length of the waist to knee length as per the measurements is 12 1 4 inch. But here what I am doing is since we want it above the knee, I am adding only 10 inches to this and I am extending the length down from the waist this is my waistline so i am extending the length from here up till down and this is going to be my length extension go now from the lower end where i have finished marking my length i am just simply going to square it out so that it marks an approximate idea for my hemline now once this is marked, this is where my tentative hem is going to be. Now I need a side seam to the garment. So I am placing my scale here at the arm. Now this is where the armhole ends. Now if you realize I am keeping my scale straight, you can see that the block is moving inwards like a fitted garment. But since the frock is not fitted, I am going to drop a perpendicular or a straight line from the armhole to the hemline till the length that I have marked. So this creates my tentative side seam. Now we have a A-line shaping on the garment. So from the point where I have dropped down the perpendicular, I am going to mark one and a half inch outside. 
this is what is going to be used for my a line shaping now i am going to join this directly with my arm the lower portion or the end of my armhole i'm going to connect these two points together to get the desired shape so this is my a line shaping which has been mm -hmm. created for the garment now if you look at the lower corner it is a bit straightish which is why it may look like a dog's ear if you stitch it as is where is so to shape it further from the corner i'm going up by half an inch so this was one and a half inch and this is going to be half an inch all right once my markings are done of half an inch also to give a neat and a smooth shape i will join this point to the midpoint of my hem line i have measured the entire hem and i have marked the midpoint of this point of the hem and i will join the midpoint to the half inch point in a straight smooth line so this is going to when i cut out the fabric this will form the smooth edge for my garment now one more change which is required the shaping of the garment extension of length and the a line shaping is complete next change is going to be at the neck and the shoulder if you realized the garment was just a strap or a narrow uh, strap on the shoulder and not a complete shoulder on the garment so for that the first thing you will do is you will measure the shoulder and mark the midpoint of the shoulder this is where my midpoint is of the shoulder now after i have marked the midpoint i am placing the half inch mark on the shoulder and i am marking the beginning and 1 inch mark over it so i want my shoulder strap to be about 1 inch wide so i have just done that marking the reason why i have done it like this is so that it will sit on the shoulder exactly in the center it will neither be too close to the neck nor will it droop down because of the loose fit so i am marking the midpoint of the shoulder equidistant on both the sides and that creates my shoulder strap marking now from here i will go down a little in a straight line half way through and then join it to my lower end of the arm curve to give a rounded shaping and this is what it is going to look like so it will be a little more comfortable for the child to wear it and it will also give a nice fit likewise here at the shoulder i am doing the neck shaping i'm deepening that also a little so when we stitch this pattern you do not have to worry about having buttons or fasteners so this garment will directly slip over the head of the child and here we have created the new neckline for the garment give me a minute and i will show you the inking or the final markings on the draft okay now here we have completed the inking this was the deepened neck that we had created the reduced shoulder the deepened armhole this line is our side seam with the a line shaping done and we are taking the higher line not the lower line here for our a line shaping for our hem line and this line remains our center front line this is where our center front is and it is going to get cut on foc this is the front piece and it will get cut in one piece so the basic steps in adaptation of the basic block to a frock draft are first increase the length second do the a line shaping third reduce the shoulder to the strap size that you want deepen the armhole and the neck complete the fine linking and your draft is ready similarly you can create the back draft on your own by extending the length by the same 10 inches do the a line shaping on the side seam reduce the shoulder by marking the midpoint of the shoulder and deepen the neck a little happy drafting to all of you